farts. Stop. You, did you know? I'm at MegaCon. You guys can find me when the vlog releases on Friday night. I, whatever, what's your table number? 1174. Find, find the Lady Arts at 1174. I know that, I know she's gonna release it ASAP. You're gonna be able to find me during MegaCon. It's not gonna come out three weeks after. And if it does, it's not real. <laughs> It's not real. You, the date is wrong in your video. browser. Hello everyone, Lelaine Art Geek here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. We are here at MegaCon Orlando 2024. It is my first MegaCon, which is super exciting. I'm really happy to be here. It is also Thursday, so it is the first day of MegaCon. It is a four day convention. I believe it is my first four day convention ever. It's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm very nervous. I know I'm probably going to be selling out on a few things, but I made sure to be as prepared as possible. The doors just opened for VIP, but there is a lot of people here already, a good amount, because VIP actually got sold out, which is insane. That's crazy. Yesterday was interesting because I tried to do a new display for my table, but when we went to pick it up from the floor, because we were building it from the floor, everything got toppled over. I didn't think straight when that was happening because I didn't really prepare for that. We basically had to start over for today and it, we kind of just went with the same booth design. I'll show it to you guys later when it's not like too, too busy. Now we're vlogging and getting the day started, getting the vlog started. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope to have a great MegaCon. So I'm so, so excited. Yay! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven people have been in that car. We clown card this. <laughs> I highly recommend Orlando. <laughs> Orlando. <laughs> go to Tampa if you got some time. <laughs> go to Savannah if you have some time. Free photo uh free Good morning everyone. It is day two of MegaCon. We are walking to Ivan's booth right now. We're gonna help him move his stuff. But can I just say right now, yesterday was pretty busy for a Thursday. So I do apologize if, or not even if, because it happened that I didn't even vlog at all, um, except for like the beginning where I was kind of introducing the vlog. I really only had the time to vlog the morning and everything else was busy. So please bear with me on that. Hopefully today I'll have more footage. Yesterday went really well. I got table back, made a little bit of profit. We still have some expenses we need to pay off, but other than that, we are pretty good. And I'm just, I'm really excited to be here. The, the energy is here. I'm just, I'm really looking forward to today, which is a Friday. Tomorrow, I'm really worried about tomorrow because it's gonna be extremely, extremely busy. I'm worried about the service. Oh, you're not recording. Oh wait, I am. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's been like a little bit hectic this weekend so far. So like I said, bear with me in this vlog while I may sound and look frantic. I have the energy. It's very energetic here as well. So yeah, day two, let's go. Can I just say that all of the vendors that are on this red carpet are so lucky. Like they're right next to the artist alley sign. They're on the red carpet at MegaCon. Like that you gotta be lucky enough to be on to be placed over here like I'm <laughs> Loki kind of jealous 
now that we have time to film because I tried to film my booth yesterday. I tried literally six times. Each of those times there were people walking by or they wanted to look and of course I didn't want to be you know that person who just kept vlogging um, when there's someone looking at my booth so I just had to keep stopping and everything but now I am showing off the booth when there is no one here yet. Um, I think VIP opens at 9.30 and regulars come in at 10. So I have time, I have some time. But I want to show everything before the convention starts, especially the new stuff. So main thing, we have the Stitches poster again, but this time we brought the comic samples. So I made these comic samples during Megacon prep and I think they turned out really nice. Um, a lot of people have been flipping through this already and asking questions, so I really hope that they are getting a little bit more invested in it. Um, we'll see for today and for tomorrow, and of course Sunday, so basically for just the rest of the weekend. And then, um, let's see what else is new. I have a new keychain. This is my ASL Brothers keychain. Um, I have this, of course, as a print and a sticker, but I've never had it as a keychain, so I'm actually debuting this at Megacon for the first time. And then another exciting thing too is I now have 10 by 12 prints. So all eight of these prints at the top are 10 by 12 and I made sure to write it by, uh, or labeling it by writing 10 by 12s on them so that people know uh, because there is a price difference. So 10 by 12 prints are this price while eight by 10s and eight by eights are that price over there which I don't know why you can't see it but there it is now but yeah they're differently priced and because of that I have to label them so that people know that oh these are $20 uh, three for 50 instead um, separate from the smaller prints so I wanted to make sure I'm labeling it properly and accurately and I decided so my holiday collection um, I still have a lot of that in stock so I displayed this in case there were still some people that wanted to um, get my holiday collection. I know the season is past already, but I still have a lot here and I want to make a new collection for 2024. So this is for 2023 and I actually discounted them. So I really hope that it will, it will sell a little bit. Um, that's, my, that's my goal. And I think that is pretty much it for the update of the booth, but yeah. This is my Megacon booth. My display before did not work out, so we just went with the old one. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I also totally forgot that I have Sony Angels. <laughs> my friend Elise gave these to me, and they are adorable. Let's hope for a fantastic day two. Before I get the back of the table situated, I did want to say this really quick. So I just mentioned that I did make back table and a little bit of profit, which will continue to go into expenses before we pay all of it off. After that is that has been paid off, I will be getting, uh, getting profit. However, I did hear that this year, because they added more vendors and artists, the amount of money that people have been getting has been just like a little bit less than last year so I know that I have a couple of friends who earned a lot on Thursday but for this year it wasn't as much people are kind of suggesting it's because they added more artists and vendors and the, the money has been spread throughout the entire convention whereas for last year there was a smaller amount of the artists and vendors and so more people earned money I think that's kind of why people are have, or have been telling me it's like they they only made table yesterday which is still good I think whenever you make table back especially like on the first day of the convention I think it's fantastic um, you have the rest of the weekend to look forward to I do understand their concern as well about oh I earned more money last year than this year on this on the same day just want to point that out every year even with a big convention like Megacon you're still going to have some concerns if you're an artist or vendor. There are times where you won't meet your financial goals on a certain day. I kind of just want to keep my head up because I have three more days of this. I am grateful that I got the table back. That's kind of like a little bit of an insight I wanted to share really quick before I get everything organized. 
before MegaCon, I had to order more stickers. I sent them to Ivan's house because he lives here in Orlando. They actually came in way earlier than expected, so I still have to organize all of those stickers in my little um, compartment here. And uh, I think VIP, they open at 9.30, but it's already 9.30. I think they're gonna be open, uh, opening a little bit late, but I'm gonna try to get as much of these stickers in these compartments as quick as I can before people start rolling in. Hi, how are you? So fun. Good. No, it's, it's okay. Long. Don't worry apartment. about it. <laughs> yeah, innocent quotes because they're Bought lovely. some stuff <laughs> from Julianne. I'm so happy she's here at this convention. I did not hold back. Are you caught up? All right, so for six prints, six mini prints is 36. So we'll be cash card. It's gonna be 38.16 with tax. All right, did you need your receipt? You're all set, thank you. This hour right now, a lot more people have been buying to where it was kind of like back to back. If we keep this up for tomorrow, for Saturday, which I think we will, we are probably going to hit hall mat sales. So if you haven't seen my hall mat vlog, go watch it. Um, I pretty much discussed just briefly on how much I've made. My goal for this weekend is 4K at least 4K for the weekend. But I'm really happy, I'm really happy with today. I'm just really glad for everyone who came up to me and said hi, watched my video, saw me on Instagram, TikTok, whatever. I feel like at this rate, I feel like I am doing a good job with promoting myself out there. And I'm definitely planning on doing a lot more of that. So thank you guys for making my first MegaCon wonderful. It just, it means a lot. And I'm actually really thankful that I get to rebook for next year too. So far, so good. I think we'll give another update before we head to dinner. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do for dinner yet, but we shall see. <laughs> Yay! I'm pretty sure your Scott Pilgrim has been killing it. No, it's been selling out. Like, not selling out, but it's been selling. I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell out tomorrow. I'm like always obsessed with your art style. I'm like, I know it's you when I see it. Like, it's you. Thank but, you. Like, so you're the writer and then you're the, the yes. artist. Yes. Beautiful. Um, oh. Well, they're telling us they're to. Trying to <laughs> they're telling us to leave. Didn't do anymore. <laughs> well, they're vlogging one at a time. Right, now we're doing it together. Oh, okay, we're, no. both we're, we're, both we're both vlogging. We're both vlogging. Hey, hey. That's not a vlog anymore.
guess who we're going to meet? We're gonna meet her! We are in line to meet Vivian Madrano. I'm actually going to freak out. Um, I probably won't record it because I don't know if that's allowed. I will say my reaction after. I am so excited. <laughs> Good morning, it is day three of MegaCon. I'm finally able to properly do an intro for today. It's been pretty insane. There's just many crowds outside and I met Vivian Madrano. She is super sweet. I wanted to make it short and quick because I knew that she had a long line. From yesterday, from what I've seen, she had a long, long line yesterday. So I'm pretty sure she's super tired. But I just wanted to tell her like how she's an inspiration and that's all I needed. I didn't get an autograph or anything. I just wanted to tell her day three is go um, there's already a big crowd coming in but because we're in the back the crowd is slowly trickling in um, it's not like huge right now but it's it's gonna get there um, in the next maybe hour or two hours we'll see I will try to update as much as I can and get more b-roll footage make this a great day happy birthday oh, to my birthday. you my God, are happy you birthday I just got some stickers for you. This is for you. I what? was just wrapping it. Wait, yes. what? what I was mean? just So they're they're okay, it's not anything special, but I got them made. Look at oh my god! You're so cute. Oh my god, I'm kiss kiss falling in love again. Kiss kiss falling in love. Wait, show the camera so look, that they know. I look, haven't shown them all yet. Key. Look, they're using me, it's remote, these great stickers. But I'm good jokes on them, I like them also. Aren't I, they so cute? I can be bought. That is true. Look at bro. Oh my god, look at the Mori, bro. Look, he looks so sad. Look at him. He's so I know. So the worst thing has happened, which everyone has been talking about. Ever since I learned about Megacon, it is that the Wi-Fi and Square will not work in the middle of Saturday. And that is exactly what has happened. I have T-Mobile, so maybe that's why, because T-Mobile isn't great for covering most areas. So I had to log out of Square, and I logged into Square using Phil's phone because he has AT&T. And it's doing well so far, so we're probably just gonna continue using his phone. I've been suggesting people to bring cash because of this reason. I knew it was going to happen, I just wasn't sure when. I can tell that it peaked because of the amount of people in the hall, so it is what it is. Um, I was a little bit frustrated, but we're good for now. <laughs> Day two of Vlogception. <laughs> How did we do today? No, I did very. Great, good. Because I did too. Good morning, everyone. It is day four of Megacon and the last day. Again, my first time ever doing a four-day convention and I am very tired. Last night we went to this place called Senior Frogs, which is like a Mexican restaurant is what they advertised it as, but it's more of like a, like a party restaurant too. Let's just say I am grateful last night that I was not the one driving. I did have to restock my Scott Pilgrim mini prints, so I have those now and I'm almost running out of my big ones but I do have my 8x10 still so I'll probably replace it with that once that one gets sold out. I think that's um, the display one's the last one too so but yeah I'm gonna just go walk around. Uh, we already have everything situated behind the booth to get ready for the last day. I will hopefully have some time to vlog throughout the last day. It might be less busy but I don't know. I really don't know anymore when it comes to this convention but I'm 
I'm, I'm loving it so far. I really am. It's been, it's been meeting all my expectations, which you know it's always a good thing. Right here or something? Okay. You know, this is the greatest show. I, might, okay. I know it might not get you all your arms, but at least you're like... Okay. So like when yeah. you get... When like you get to that when point. I go... Go ahead, done. Okay. So, we, we can practice it. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. so like, I'm going to practice with the... You know, uh, um, this is the greatest show. Oh, I, do I want me to mouth it? It's up to you if you want to mouth it. Okay, I know Mojo 97 didn't mouth it. But gotcha. I, I said that's okay. Because I'm just gonna uh, get no, it. No, yeah, it, I'll, so. I can do it. Because if you're playing with the sound too, like I can, I can hear it. Yes, okay. yes. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, action. And this is the greatest show. And cut. I think that works. See, let's see if that worked. <laughs> I already know I had to get my good charm from Marna Vander. This is the part that we're at right now, by the way, so I'm really excited to continue Stone Ocean. Elise gave me another sticker sheet from Peppercut Studio, but we call her Julianne Doodles because that's her name online, but she gave me another one. Stop being so sweet. You keep giving out these free sticker sheets to us. <laughs> but we're extremely grateful. Thank you. done with MegaCon. Thank you guys so much for coming out. This is the best selling con I have now. It beat out Hallmat. I am so grateful. Thank you guys. I will be back next year for MegaCon 2025. Thank you. <laughs>Hello everyone, welcome to this segment of the video where I talk about my thoughts and feelings about a certain convention and whether or not I would go back to it. So let's go ahead and get started. So for me being like, oh, will I come back uh, for next year? Absolutely, like I will definitely come back to MegaCon next year because I rebooked the table um, that Sunday of the convention and I am just incredibly excited to go back for 2025. So I really hope I get to see some of you guys there again. And I just have a lot of ideas that I would like to prepare for for next year. I know it's a long way from now, but still I'm really pumped up for that. But I am really really glad and really grateful about the sales i had during this weekend too it is by far the best convention in terms of sales it definitely beat out hall mat which i'll link the video down below if you want to see the vlog for that one but definitely beat out the sales for that convention we made in with expenses of like the price of the expenses included in the number we profited about $4,800. Are you kidding me? I know we have to minus the expenses from that number, of course, but are you kidding me? That is amazing. And I'm so, so grateful, guys. Like, oh my gosh, I love this convention. I love the energy. I love the people. I love that, you know, a lot of you guys have just come up to the table and just said, hi, I'm, I'm, I'm like recording this right now and I'm thinking about it again. And I truly cannot wait for next year. I love this convention. I am so thankful that I was able to get in, first of all, because if you just keep rebooking, you will be guaranteed a spot for next year. And I think that's amazing, truly. So thank you guys so much for an amazing experience. I cannot wait for next year. But I believe that's pretty much it. I do want to say that there were a couple of people that have told me that the service on Saturday and Sunday were, it was really bad and they were correct. We had to keep switching phones because surprisingly enough, uh, Phillips's phone, uh, he has AT&T. It just stopped working like 
I think maybe 10 to 20 minutes after I switched over to his phone to collect credit, uh, credit card sales, it just stopped working. And so we just had to keep switching phones until, um, until it just worked again all of a sudden. But there were a couple of you guys that brought cash. You guys went to the ATM and withdrew some cash to pay for some of our products, which thank you for that. Seriously, it helped a lot with sales. But I think for next year, we will try to invest in a hotspot because the convention Wi-Fi is really expensive and I do not feel like paying a good amount for that. So we might invest in a hotspot so that we can take it with us to every convention thereafter. So that will be the plan for at least for next, uh, next year's MechaCon. But other than that, I think everything else that I want to discuss has already been discussed throughout the video. I just want to say my thanks to all of you guys who have supported us throughout the weekend. Honestly, I just, I feel so energized. I was really tired, of course, but I was also very energized and very grateful for you guys all. So, you guys all, you, you know what I'm talking about. But that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching the vlog. I will see you guys in the next convention, which I believe it's SwampCon in Gainesville. And I've already made a vlog of that last year. So I'm super looking forward to, <laughs> super looking forward to, I don't, know what my, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, but I am really looking forward to going to that convention again. And yeah, I think that's, I think that's it. So thank you guys for watching this vlog and I will see you at the next convention.